The gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record letters in support of the bill from the ACLU and the Association of Flight Attendants, CWA. Without objection. I yield myself the balance of the time. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And it has uh, now been more than a decade since Congress passed critical protections to guarantee nursing workers break time and private space to express, uh, to express uh, breast milk at work. As we've heard today from members on both sides of the aisle, these protections are essential to protecting the health of nursing workers and their families. Yet nursing workers are continuing to suffer from gaps and weaknesses in the federal law. The need to address these gaps is even greater today as our economy recovers from COVID-19. Millions of workers, particularly working mothers, are looking to re-enter the workforce after being forced out of their jobs during the pandemic. The Pump for Nursing Mothers Act would provide workers with the peace of mind that they will not have to choose between returning to work and protecting themselves and their babies. Madam Speaker, we have an opportunity to deliver on our promise to help all workers recover from the pandemic, stay safe, and succeed in their careers. This legislation will strengthen existing law, improve the lives of nursing workers across the country, and help our economy get back on its feet. And we know this program works because the provisions in this bill are already, federal, already law on the federal level and in several states without the kinds of problems that have been suggested that might happen, those have not occurred under present law. And without any explosion of lawsuits, the law, these provisions are already law and there have not been those, um, those lawsuits. And the substitute offered by the minority um, does not expand as many, um, um, to as many uh, um, mothers as this bill does. And it would actually roll back some protections they already have. So I want to thank the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Maloney, the gentlelady from Washington State, Ms. Herrera Butler, for their leadership in this bipartisan legislation. And I urge my colleagues to support the Pump for Nursing Mothers Act and yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields. All time for debate has expired. Each further amendment printed in Part D of House Report 117-137 shall be considered only in the order printed in the report may be offered only by a member designated in the report, shall be considered as read, shall be debatable for the time specified in the report, equally divided and controlled by the proponent and an opponent, may be withdrawn by the proponent at any time before the question is put thereon, shall not be subject to amendment, and shall not be subject to a demand for division of the question.